Joining us is only 16 years old. She goes by her gang name of KB. She says that she's so afraid of being killed by a rival gang that she had to leave her home. She had to move to another state. We're going to keep where you moved from, or we know where you moved from, Fort Worth, Texas. We won't say where you moved to. Sweetie, what in the world happened at 16 years old to put you in this type of situation? Well, what, name anything, everything happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, got jumped a bunch of times. I mean, shot at, house shot up, car shot up, everything. How did you end up in a gang to begin with? Well, to the friends of the family, we're two young guys, 17 and 18. They wanted me in. And so my ex-boyfriend and his brother and my two friends of the family jumped me in. When you say jump me in. They <coughs> poor guys beat me up. They beat you up to say be a part of our group? I mean, we're not talking about just slapping around a little bit. Mm -mm. What kind of beat up are you talking about? They jumped on me. They all, all three of them jumped me. And I'm sorry, but I, I'm trying to understand how a group of people beat you up to say be part of our family. That was, a, that was my initiation. I mean, they just decided, you know, they asked me if I wanted to, I said yeah, and so they jumped me. They picked a time. We were just all out in the front yard, and they just started, they said, well, here's your time, and they want my ass. Did you ever get a choice? Did you say, hey, look, I really don't want to be a part of this No, game. because at the time I wanted to be. What makes somebody want to be part of something that most of us see is so decadent? I couldn't tell you. I mean, is it something going on in your family life? Is it? And let me tell you, the reason that I ask these questions is because there's some of us who want to help. I mean, if there's something we can do, I mean, if there's some way we can help. If you need food, we'll feed you. If you need your babies taken care of, we'll help you. But Excuse me. And you don't believe me? No. no. Oh, and so I sound like the, well, tell me. Come on, excuse me, stand up. <laughs> okay, well, you're wrong as you, people who have money, you always say, we'll help you, we'll help you. Where's the help? Well, we're asking for it. For me as a kid, I asked for help. I didn't ask to be there. But, but Brad, let me tell you something. You, you, I'm not, I don't want to get into you, you, you. But, okay, let, me, but let me just say, say gang members say, I don't, get it, I don't get help, so therefore I have to come and take your stuff. Well, okay, I don't appreciate we don't that either. either. We, don't, we don't choose to do it. We do it for survival. Right. We do it, I mean... If we have nowhere to go, we have no shelter, we sleep in you anywhere from abandoned cars, we break into people's cars, sleep in them. It's because that's what we have to do as youngsters. This is a teen show. A lot of the a lot of teenagers have nowhere to go. They're put out. They get put in foster homes. The foster for homes, they abuse you. Okay, hold on, because the audience wants to react to this too. Come on, stand up for me. I totally disagree because I believe that anytime you you have the first you have to make the first step. If you want to get out of a gang, you can get out of a gang. It's all in what you what you put your mind to. Okay? If the same way that you put the energy into getting into a gang is the same energy you can get out of a gang with. Okay? And that's all up to what you want to do in life. If you want to die, then stay in the gang. What K B said she's gonna die I mean it you got out though are you safe I mean you still say you're afraid but I but you still got out of the game yeah, see my homeboys and homegirls they they just let you know they let me go I mean because they understood what was going on and they had a lot of respect for my mother and that was my mother's home that was you know being treated like that I guess you could say my mother was a gay mom but she was cool about it though, and they, you know, they let me have my peace. Mm -hmm. Question. Well, not so much as have a question, but a comment. If you're in a gang, you can get out, but it's one way. You need leadership. How you just, if you don't know how to get out, how do you get out? You need someone, you need a role model. You need someone to help you get out. You need someone to pull you out. You don't just need someone to tell you, get out the gang, just get out the gang. You never get there, then you really can't relate to that. But who, who is around to help these?
these young people get out of a gang. Okay, it's going to have to take you. It's going to have to take me. It's going to have to take everyone that's concerned because it's a national problem. Mm -hmm. It's just not your problem. Oh, that's their problem mm -hmm. because it's going everywhere and it's, it's going to affect everyone. If you don't do something about it now, it will affect you. It will affect your children or your grandchildren. This is not, everyone's going to be affected by so someone what, in gang. So what you're saying is that each of us listening to this show today is personally responsible for these yeah. children. And we need to do something about it. What I, what I do, I have a company called uh, Rapture International, and I employ them. I don't just talk about them and tell you them do. you should do this and you should do that. Mm -hmm. Help them. Do something about it. If, if You can become a mentor. You can go to elementary schools and volunteer when you see someone needs help. Help them. Don't mm -hmm. just talk about them. Do something about the problem. Thank you. Thank you. As you heard the stories of a violent teenagers as we as we're talking about this many of us are probably wondering where are the mothers of, of these young people did they know what they were getting into did they see signs well i'd like you to meet some a couple here who may shock you this is a mother-daughter team a mother who calls herself boo boo her daughter calls herself baby boo and Boo Boo says that she has always been there for a daughter and if you mess with baby Boo, you mess with mama too. We're going to talk to this mother-daughter team enrolled in the same gang when we come back. <laughs> mother-daughter team who belongs to the same gang. Boo, Boo Boo, and Baby Boo. Now, first of all, where did you get the names? These are gang names, right? Yeah. When I was in Grace, hanging around with some girl named Yogi, and I just got the name nickname Boo Boo. Boo Boo. My daughter, she just picked up the name Baby Boo. Baby Boo. So, girls and children can actually be born into a gang? You know what? Let me explain to you something about gangs, okay? Mm -hmm. I lived around it, I've been around it, and I really don't, the way, the way that people came out, I didn't appreciate, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You know what? I led a hard life, okay? And I don't want that for my daughter, okay? You see, I'm a respected person where I, where I live. I'm respected, very respected. Either by, just for being me, or by what I do, it really doesn't matter. But let me explain something to you. My daughter has my respect and the respect from everybody out in the streets, mm -hmm. okay? Whether it have to do with gangs or not. Mm -hmm. But but you are still part of a gang, so it has everything you do in life has an awful lot to do with that association with that gang, right? I'm not wishing this on my daughter, okay? But Boo Boo, don't you want something better for baby Boo? I mean Believe me, I've got something better for her. I've no, no, you're sitting there laughing. You know, I think they're laughing at uh -huh. the name. The name, you know, it is kind of strange to go boo and baby boo, but mm -hmm. but that's their name. They're the name like Rolanda. I love people laughing me too, so don't worry about it. But what I do want to get back to very seriously, though, is, I mean, there's so many mothers who want the best life for their kids, even better than what they had to go through, who say, "Don't you hang out with me if I hang out with the wrong people, because your life deserves a better chance than this." How do you explain to your daughter about what the rest of America can't stand? We've lived around gangs all our lives, okay? These are... Gang people aren't bad. You pe a lot of people might make them out to be bad people, but you know what? They really aren't. But they how are can just they not be, just though? like you. But how can they not be bad? I mean... We don't go out and kill and rob and shoot, and that's the kind of feeling. That, I mean, that's that's the word that comes back from gangs to us. I mean, we only know gangs to be bad. She, she said, "Gang, gangs are not bad, but what good do they do?" What good, good do they do? Good question. What good do they do? <laughs> They're a family when you don't have a family. They're the family that's there when your parents aren't there. Do you understand me? It's like I was saying, that is your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question. You're not even giving your daughter a chance. You're, you're not even being a role model for her. You, you can don't tell. You can tell by just looking at the way you're no. talking and carrying it. No, You've got to set a good example for your daughter for her to like prosper. Mm -hmm. let's, ask, let's ask baby boo. What do you think?
think about this, baby boo, because you're old enough to know what the rest of the country thinks about gangs. You're old enough to know to make a decision. You know where you are, I think. You mean what do I think about gangs? Well, what do you think about the position that you're in, that your mom is a gang member, your dad's a gang member? What, what do you say to folks who say that your mom isn't giving you a, a good chance at, at a good start in life? I don't mind. It was their decision a long time ago. If she wants to be a gang member, she could have became a gang member. What does it do for Baby Boo, though, being part of a gang family? It doesn't really do anything. It's just like, it's just like she said, it's a family when you don't have one. Mm -hmm. You know something, but I gotta say this. Now look, we can, we can turn our heads and we can shake our heads and stuff, but folks, we're all responsible for this, too. These are our children, too. I will come back to you because I know you have a lot to say, Brett. Just hold on. And coming up, we're going to get back to this. And also up next, we're going to meet two girls who are going to join us live via satellite because they're paying in, in, in time for the crimes that they committed. They're doing time in a California state prison. We'll have those young ladies join us live when we come back.